What's up, what's up, what it is, good people? Now I'm back, baby. But I want to introduce y'all to somebody, man. You might, you might have heard of him. You might even know him. Or somebody that resembles him. Not far as facial features, but characteristics. So without further ado, introduce y'all to Cameron Hogg, man. Now, like I said, you may have seen him before. You might be around a camera hall right now, but just don't realize it. So, the characteristics of a camera hall be doing that girl, you know, get mad when you tell him no. Might got an assault on his mother or something. No, real, real greasy, grimy type of dude. I mean, we all been around him. Now, you might not call him Cameron Hall, depending on your relationship. Now, the names of Cameron Hall vary from city to city. Might call him a clown. Might call him a sore loser. Might call him a goofy. Could call him a dub, a buster, a lame. You know, it varies, you know, depending on, you know, y'all slang, y'all terminology, wherever you're from. But we know these guys. And I'm going to get into what Cameron Hogg did. Because what he did was wild. But I just wanted to give y'all a background on Cameron. You know, for the sake of this video, we're going to call him Cameron. You can call him what you want. Like I said, it's a lot of names for him. But today we're going to call him Cameron. So Cameron, or Clown, got angry with his friend, Asia Walmart, female, and shot and killed her over a basketball game. A 21-year-old woman was shot to death allegedly over the results of a basketball game. The victim's family says the shooter was a friend, but police have not named him publicly as a suspect. The shooting happened Monday evening in the South Dallas area on Hamilton Avenue, not far from Fair Park. Fox 4's Sean Rad, reporting live from DPD headquarters tonight. Sean. Yeah, Steve, police haven't given us the name of a suspect or a motive yet, but uh, Asia Womack's mother tells me the 21-year-old was shot five times and killed by a man she had befriended and helped someone that she called a friend. Hard to understand, uh, reportedly getting angry over losing a basketball game to a woman and then killing her. And because she was supposedly a friend, even more difficult for this family to understand. Asia loved basketball. Yes, she did. She loved basketball to the point to where she died doing what she loved. And she shouldn't have died that way. A mother mourns her murdered daughter, 21-year-old Asia Womack, killed Monday evening after playing basketball at T.G. Terry Park, just up the street from her home, where family gathered, grieving. This was supposed to be a friend of Asia's. She's eating with this man, she's fed him, and he turned on her and killed her in a vicious way. Womack was a whiz at basketball, playing her high school days at Madison. Monday, family says she was in a pickup game at the park, playing against the guy who is said to have shot her, and she won. The family also says there was trash talk, too. Oh, but this is so senseless. This is so, you become embarrassed, basically, because a female beat you in basketball. According to the family, the shooter took his kids and brother home and came back to the park, shooting Asia Womack five times. Cameras at this store, possibly capturing the car speeding away. We're told detectives took the video. Detectives are still working the case. Uh, no one is in custody at, at this time. Um, they've been working it since since Monday night, uh, trying to find find justice for Ms. Womack. 
my prayer is that justice be served, you know, um, that he is found and that he will give up or turn himself in. If you know where he is, where his whereabouts are, please, please turn him in. Help the family out. We're hurting. Now, some of y'all might have seen this story. Some of y'all might haven't. But I wanted to let y'all know that we got cameras in every city. They the type, you know, hang around you. You might have grew up with them. And you might turn a blind eye to the things they do. You know the type that stab you in the back and tell you it's raining? Those guys. They never support you. Nah. They too busy wanting to compete. So if you got a business venture, you know, you might run it past them. You know, they're gonna they gonna talk the talk while they're in front of you, you know, big you up, salute you. But the minute you turn your back, they down in your idea. Or they might try to steal it and say they thought of it. This is what cameras do. Like I said, they're everywhere. But this Cameron decided to kill his friend. And you heard the family. This friend took care of him. Slept together. Ate together. Broke bread. You know, probably was together for years. But Cameron got so angry. So upset. He killed this girl because she beat him in a basketball game. Even took his family members home first, so he had time to think about it. So you know what that says? That says Cameron was jealous. Cameron was envious. And we know these people. Might be standing right, be one next to you right now. But a lot of times when we, you know, we care about people. We let our guard down. So we turn a blind eye. But you seen the traits. You seen it. You seen him beat on his girlfriend. You seen him punch the walls when his mother told him she ain't had no money. You seen him steal. You seen these things. But since that's your man, or at least he appeared to be, we turn a blind eye to him. We say, he'll never do that to me. But that's where we make a mistake at. Because Cameron doesn't have loyalty. His only loyalty is to himself. Cameron might even tell on you if things get rough. Better believe that. And I just wanted to break this down to y'all, man. Because what Cameron did was unique, but Cameron, the person, the characteristic of him, they in every city and town, every ghetto across America. You know the guy that, that you're not quite sure if that's your man or not, but he hang with you every day. You know, a lot of times they just want to be around you because you can benefit them some way. Some way you benefit them. You might not even realize it, but they know. So that's why they, 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 they attach themselves to you. They're like a leech. But the whole time, they're really sucking the blood out of you. In the first minute, the first second, you tell them you can't do something. Or they get angry at you for any type of reason. Cameron is going to be the man that's killing you. So I said all that to say this, man. Watch out for Cameron, man. Or Clown. Or Goofy. Or Buster. Depending on what your terminology is. But we seen him. We know him. But we gotta keep him at a distance. Because what he did, Cameron, when this Clown did the Asia War Map, was wrong. Now, I salute the news. They paint the Asia in a real positive light. They don't normally do that. 
Because when I was looking up, you know, the case, I was saying she was in some type of gang. But it's not important for this video. That's not important because her being in the gang didn't have nothing to do with her supposed to be friend taking her life, even after he had time to think about it. He could have took them kids and his little brother home and just kept going and just been mad. But no. He was angry. He was jealous. It was like a rage in him. He couldn't let it go. It didn't have nothing to do with the basketball game. Because Cameron been hating Asia for a very long time. He was just waiting for the right time to expose it. And that's what he did. So I'm going to say rest in peace to that girl. And y'all here watching this video, man. Pay attention to the dudes that are around you, man. Because you might got a camera in your crew. And they can't wait to knock you off. All you got to do is tell them no. Or hey, beat them in a the basketball game. But I'm out, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Because Cameron would never do that because he don't support. And I'm out.